Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back and we're here with Divine Masculine situation here. So, uh, we're just gonna get straight to it. Make sure I shuffle the crap out of these cards so we can get a nice little spread. Last message was pretty cool. Anxious to see what this message is gonna be. So, just carrying on from last message. What I got in Twin Flames and Separation was that twins, that y'all coming together. Twins are coming together to be reunited. Twins are coming together in union. Twins are recognizing each other. With this coming together, it's like your masculine is kind of going to lose. Not lose, you don't lose, you take lessons. It's like your divine masculine is really going to take a beat down with this whole progression. I told you, the higher you go, the higher you are in life, the more difficult existing in life is going to be. You're going to classify yourself. The shit takes you to a whole other level. And once again, feminine, you've been in Zion for a while. You've been ejected out the matrix for a long ass time. You really know how to maneuver fourth and fifth dimensionally. Your masculine, like he's finally learning how the game goes. He's finally starting to feel the emotions that you've been feeling. He's finally starting to see the light. He's finally starting to get into alignment with where he needs to get with with you as far as y'all purpose and the reason why y'all even here is stuff like that. But the main thing you kind of got to understand what the Masson is going through right now is he's definitely going towards you. Might not look like it, might not feel like it, but it's true. You know, my Masson is headed towards you and this shit is kind of difficult. So it ain't like they're going two steps forward, ten steps back. It's just every time they open up Pandora's box, every level that they get to with you on a higher level, it come with some fuckery, you know what I'm saying? Karma, that's all it is, is karma. The karma of being in a twin flame situation hurts your masculine more than anything. This shit ain't regular. This shit don't seem real. It's too much on their hearts, too much on their pockets, it's too much on their, like I say, they're not as advanced as you feminine, so they don't handle their situations like you handle it. Y'all handle it in the same way, y'all reflections, but once again, y'all reflections. I'm waving my right hand, and the mirror is his left hand waving at me. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit, it's just different. You gotta know those difference, differences. You gotta study those differences. You gotta analyze those differences so you can really get a complete picture. Of exactly how your divine masculine is maneuvering in this chess game that is your twin flame demo. Enough talking, let's give the message. Overall energy, we have seven of wands, internal conflict that your divine masculine has in this overall energy. Now, I told you, inner conflict is the most difficult thing to deal with. Dealing with other people's problems, I ain't saying it's easy, but you don't have to deal with other people's problems. You can literally walk around other people's problems your whole life. Seven of Wands, that's internal conflict. You dealing with your shit internally, you dealing with the problems that you gotta heal, your inner wounds, your core wounds, you know, where most of your triggers lie, where most of your emotional strain is, where most of your self-doubt Lack of love and, you know, lack of, like, that's where lack at. Like, it's, it's inside, you know, what's inside you, your whole walking, talking universe, man. You're more complex inside than you are outside. Outside, it's just your behavior. The decisions that you make and people analyzing the decisions that you make, the actions that you take, the manifestations that you manifest, and how you feel about certain shit. Basically, everything in this deck. It's all outside shit. Shit that happens internal is the only shit you gotta deal with. Seven deals with eternal. Seven of Wands is eternal conflict. Seven of Cups is digging deep inside yourself to pull something out that, that you have and give it to the world. It's not easy pulling out something in you and giving it to the world. 
You know, but you do it. It's under the pinnacle. That's moving the fuck around. You know what I mean? That's doing what you got to do personally to put yourself in an environment to flourish. Seven of Swords. That's the secret coming out the bag. You keep it at 100. You get some off your chest. You're taking your mask off. You, you being free. We all got conflict to deal with. It's the people who handle their own shit that excel exceptionally well in life. People who don't handle their internal conflict. People who don't know how to deal with themselves. They need to do the next step, which is the Eight of Wands. What's that? Communication, communication, communication. If you don't know how to deal with yourself, you need to communicate that. To your twin, he or she can help you. I don't know, to a doctor, psychiatrist, people to help. There's help out here. You just got to speak. Seven of Wands, if you're going through some shit, masculine, Eight of Wands, speak. How the fuck is anybody supposed to know you got something going on if you don't tell nobody? Like a relationship. You got a boyfriend beating you down. Like literally beating your ass. You ain't gonna say nothing? I'm pretty sure your big brother or your little brothers or your uncle or your dad or your aunties is beating you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they're they're, they're waiting in the cut ready to defend your motherfucking honor in a situation like that. Talk. You got to speak and talk anyway, so, you know what I mean? You can put the word out that this nigga is on some whole other shit. So when Ada Wines, word go around and come back around that this is the type of dude he is, you can hear what you need to know, too, for you to do what you need to do. But how are you going to find out about another person if you ain't talking about yourself? Like, can't find out anything without asking anything. I ask God to reveal to me things all the time, and then he shows me things. But he wouldn't have shown me it if I didn't ask for it. Directions. I'm lost. I need, I need to get home. You communicate. Ask for directions so you can get home. Close mouths don't get fed. Final message on that overall energy, we got the Ace of Pentacles. It's a big-ass manifestation or something you're going to acquire or something you're going to attain or something you're going to have can't have it if you don't know how to if you don't communicate you need it this is something you need this is something you're going through internally something you're going through yourself this is something you need and this is you communicating what you need so you can get what you need out of it it's something you want to manifest big and you don't know how to get it so you communicate Once again, going from the 7 to the 8, progression. That's how you need to be going about this masculine, because bottom line, you got the 8 of Pentacles. 8 of Pentacles is a harvest. Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable bed to sleep on. 2 of Wands, child. 3 of Wands, purpose. 4 of Wands, union, reunion, and recognition with your twin. Your divine masculine, I mean your divine feminine, she's in your harvest. You know, God's in your harvest. What clothes you got, car you drive, things you have, all that is in harvest. Clarifying all that, it's the Nine of Cups. This is putting your whole heart into your harvest, maintaining and tilling your harvest. Bottom line, you need to put your whole heart into your harvest and maintaining and tilling your harvest. I told you. You got a car, right? That's in your harvest. You got to maintain your car. Keep the fluids in it, get oil changed, keep that bitch up and running so you can get to work. So you can drive and take a break from the city if you want to. That's what having wheels do. It gets you places. You're free. It's kind of like having a fucking horse in the planteer days. You ain't got to walk everywhere. Now you can fucking get mobile. Get active. You got to take care of your car so you can keep your car. Your children. They're like fucking plants. You got to nurture them. You got to grow them in the right way. You got to till to them in the best manner. So they don't run around like weeds in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Your masculine, you got to, I mean, your feminine, excuse me. You got to tilt to your feminine. Masculine, she's in your harvest. Can't let her ass run rampant out here either. Like I said, the best way to keep your twin in check is just to do your job that you got for your twin. Support her. You ain't got to date her, but if she got a function, 
that she's doing out here helping the community and shit. And you know a few venues or know a few connects or can help her or pull a few strings to get some shit popping on her behalf, make that shit happen. She ain't trying to marry you, nigga. She know you got them connects to make this shit pop off she got over here. Why don't you help out a little bit so she can get more money so she can get on her shit. Support. That's all she's looking for. Maybe she just need words of encouragement. That's how I be with me and my son. I just be needing that nigga encouragement sometimes. I just call him. I'm scared. At a job interview or at my fucking uh, new experience in life, a new place in life, a new, a new plateau. He's the first person I hit. I got chitters. That's the nigga I hit. And he'll, say, he'll tell me some shit I already know or he'll tell me just... Some shit I don't want to know, or whatever it is. It's just his voice. You know, it's like his voice. You know what I mean? Whether he getting my ass or encouraging me, whatever it is, I'm going to hang up the phone and do my best. Because that's the effect that nigga got on me. The fact that I can call him and he can pick up. I used to appreciate and love that support. I don't have that support anymore. It's wax sauce, but living, learning, and, and earning without it. You know what I mean? With it or without it, I'm good, but this is a good lesson. We don't take L's, we take lessons here. Saying all that shit to say this. Master, you gotta take care of what's yours. And you gotta take care of the people that you're tilling. Whether that's your children, or whether that's your twin, whether that's family. You gotta till everything. That means nothing can get left untilled. Nothing can be left unchecked. You gotta it's a garden. You gotta make sure pests don't fuck your garden up. You gotta make sure the weather and, you know what I'm saying, the outdoors don't fuck your shit up. You gotta make sure thieves don't come to just steal your crops. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be on guard at all times. That's why it'd be good to be paired up tilling this motherfucking garden so at least you got two, you know what I mean, two eyes covering your back while you cover the front. Or somebody that got your back. Yeah, you supporting the Ryan Feminine, but she supports you too. So it ain't really like you just supporting her. She supports you. Coming to the situation, masculine, in your karma, or i.e. Mystery Madness world, you got the Eight of Swords, which is going in one direction, the only direction, the only right way, which is up. What's up? God's up. I keep saying that shit. Like, you don't need to be going in one direction. Up. If you're going up, you'll see your twin again. If you're going up, you'll see God. If you're going up, you'll be in the realm of where you need to be in. Clarifying that two of swords is the five of swords. I mean, the ace of swords, excuse me, is the five of swords. Five of swords is the Nate Dog hold up weight card or a delay. Or it's the focus card. I just take it as all of them. You delayed yourself a lot, Divine Masculine, not being on the right path. You've been going left, you've been going right, you've been going back, you've been going forward, but you ain't been going up. Once you start going up, five of swords, you're going to start focusing on what the fuck you need to focus on. Plus five of swords, plus ace of swords, and six of swords. What's that? Rolling with the homies. It's going with the flow. That's the energy that you end up in in a separation reading. Five of swords, that's focus. You gotta focus. Only way you can focus is being on the right path. If you're looking in your rearview mirror, you are not moving forward. If you're scared to fly, then, like I say, you're only limiting yourself. If you don't know how to swim, once again, you're only limiting yourself in a situation you thinking you ain't gonna need to acquire. It's like me thinking I don't need to learn another language. Because I'm from America, nigga, and we speak English. Like, nah, nigga, I don't really have to speak another language. I really have to step my communication game up to a whole nother level because I'm tweaking myself out thinking I ain't going to have to learn Spanish. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or whatever predominantly position of power-ass country that's going to come out the world work this time. God damn it, like... Right way, as long as you're doing what you need to do, everything else is going to work out. By you being in the right path going up, you're going to start to see the shit you couldn't see before. Going back to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, which is the overall energy, is also fighting on higher ground. 
five of wands. That's just fighting with people on this level. It's nothing but a group of people out here and it's a brawl. We just swing on anybody that pop up. We don't know who can pop up. You might hit your friend because there's so many people and we on the same level fighting that anybody can get it. Now, if I took my ass and, I don't know, went to the to the building, top of the building, doing this whole melee, and just picked off my enemies from up there like a sniper, then I can make I can do more damage. You know what I'm saying? I can I can I can get a lot more done doing shit that way. At least I'm in a place where can't nobody see me, so I'm picking my fuckers off, and then it's like they can't get to me because I'm on higher ground. They're gonna have to. Shit. Walk all the way from the melee, go up the same place I went just to get to me. It puts me on higher ground. Thus, I have the advantage being the person in the higher ground. Because I'm above. I can cover the people below. I can cover the people below. I can basically take out people who ain't even hit the melee yet. Like It's, it's so much I can do from an ascended position. That's why it's imperative for, for you, Masculine, to get there. To that ascended position. The higher you go up, the better you can see. You need to get on higher ground so you can really see what you're fighting. So you can really see the melee here. You know? Um, you personally come into the situation masculine yourself. You're still in the world. It was in the world when we left the separation video. You in the world coming into the situation now. Four Cups. You in the world, and you distracted by it. Once again, you taking a step back. You should be going from the Four of Cups to the Five of Cups. Four of Cups, that's the world. Five of Cups is basically Ace of Cups in yourself in the world. Four of Cups. Ace of Cups, that's self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-admiration. You know, self-care, the Mac Miller card. Taking care of yourself in the world. How you take care of yourself in the world. Being in a higher echelon. I told you, four cups. This shit is a three-dimensional thing. This is the world right here. Right? Four cups. Fifth of cup fifth cup is right up here. You ace a cup in, in the world. But you ain't in the world on a low level where these karmics at. Where the riff riff at. You taking care of yourself up here. What's up here? This is Zion. I told you. What's the only right way? It's up. What's up? God's up. We're ascending. So when you ascend, I'm telling you, 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 all your friends is here. All the people who ain't on your level is here. You here. It's a lonely place up here. But you got to learn how to deal with yourself up here. Can't be like the masculine and always want to be down here because you'd rather be down here with people, karmic people, fake people. People you don't need to be around than be up here where it's hard to be. In the real motherfucking world. The mascot is distracted. For some reason, they think the world is more funner than Zion, or the world is more relevant than Zion. Why? What is this energy? Why do they have this energy? King of Swords. This is the God Smack. This is divine intervention. This is the Tower moment. This is God Smack. God is basically saying it don't even matter. <laughs> How the masculine feel about the world? Because like I say, what's going to happen is, so, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get smacked. You win the world, and then you obviously getting distracted in the world because you digressing. You're going from a, uh, a four of cups to a three of cups. So you're taking a step back emotionally. You're not progressing. You're digressing. God going to smack you for that. You don't need to be in the world. Distracted. Three of cups is distraction. Three of cups. You can put three full cups in a four cup situation. The world is full of distractions. That's why you got a guy here to smack your ass when you get distracted. Once again, it's like your mom popping you when you sleep in that church. Nigga, you distracted by sleep. You ain't supposed to be sleep. You need to be focused on the word. That's disrespecting the pastor sleeping. You disrespecting me thinking this shit's sweet. Like, I'm going to just let you sleep. Like, I had the luxury to sleep. When I was your age as a baby in church. Wake your wake your ass up. And don't stop. Hey, don't sleep. Don't sleep in church. Don't get off your phone. See, we didn't have cell phones and games and all that shit when we was kids, nigga. We had we had a Bible. Okay? You do a little gospel coloring book or some shit like that. But hey, we had to be attentive. We couldn't sleep in church. 
We had to go to church number one. You couldn't sleep in there. I couldn't draw, couldn't doodle, couldn't do no shit. I had to keep my eyes on the motherfucking pulpit, nigga. Be like that sometimes. Now, I can try to fall asleep, but I know mom eventually gonna pop my ass, or she eventually gonna, she tell me to do the same shit too much, nigga, she gonna take it to the next level on my ass, like, it's part of being a divine person, that was part of growing up in church, nigga, I had, I couldn't sleep, I had to go, there was no, I can't go to church, I had to go, there was no, there wasn't a lot of shit, and I just had to conform, it wasn't like I was a slave, or couldn't think, of, you know, couldn't think for myself, it's just how Divine hierarchy work, nigga. You got to do shit you don't want to do when it comes to divinity. It's called respect. It's like me taking my hat off in church when my hair looked fucked up. My hair could be fucked up. That's why I had the hat on. But if I'm in church, I got to take it off. So what? My fucking kids going to be teasing me behind me, talking about my head and my hair and how dirty I look and all that bullshit. But look, I can put my hat on when I leave the tabernacle. Ain't nothing more important in the world right now. Ain't nothing more important in the message right now, nigga. That's why I need to be focused on it. We learn that as children. So as adults, we're the same way. You was a kid playing your game in church, then you were growing up playing games on your phone in church as an adult. Motherfuckers wasn't on your ass when you was a kid coming up in the motherfucking tabernacle, then niggas ain't gonna be on your ass as an adult, as an adult in the tabernacle. So like I say. It's all a process, masculine, you're going to learn today. Okay, you're going to be in the world distracted, God's going to come through and redirect that distracted energy so that you focus on what you need to focus on. Because in your mystery madness world, as far as the feminine energy is concerned, you got a tennis sports. This came up last week too. You're going to have to put a permanent end to masculine tennis sports to whoever the fuck you keeping close. This is the chick you stay with. You let her go and get your own place. It's that man you can't leave, feminine. I mean masculine, excuse me. Masculine. You got to leave their ass. You got to divorce them. You're going to have to kick them to the curb. Two things can occupy the same space. You are about to join with your twin. You are about to be in union with your twin. You're about to be back reunited with your twin. You don't have time to be, like I say, in a fake situation going into a real one. Only reason you probably keeping this person whoever the fuck this is close to you on standby is because you need them. People ain't looking for love, they looking for help. Half their situations are help related situations. You're married to a motherfucking mo a dude with money, a dude with bank, a dude with security. That's what you was looking for. You was insecure as fuck. She didn't have security. Now you got all the security, but it comes with a person that you don't really like dealing with. A person you ain't in love with. You got kids with the nigga. It's making shit more worse. Best thing you could have did in your life was get your own riches, get your own security, so you ain't have to. I don't know. Basically, shack with a person to take care of yourself. Because once again, that ain't that ain't love. That's help. You ain't trying to get in a situation to help yourself. You help yourself. Then get in a situation. Ooh, let me say that shit twice. You don't get in no situation to help yourself. You help yourself. Then get in a situation. The reason why I stay single. Hey, I'm telling you, it's hard for me to maintain myself out here. I am not finna play my fucking husband or play daddy or play anything if I ain't got me straight. If I can't take care of myself, how the fuck I'm gonna take care of you, shorty? I said I can't take care of myself. I'm just saying. Gotta have my shit right. I gotta work with me. I gotta have my feelings in order. I gotta have my identity and who I am down packed. So I ain't fucking you up trying to figure out who I am. <laughs> no, I ain't scared to be alone. And I'm alone like a motherfucker. And I'm dealing with that. But I gotta learn how to be alone. Because like I said, if I don't get these things down packed, then it's going to be hell for you learning these same lessons I could have learned by myself being with you. With the whole overall energy, anyway, the seven of wands, man, internal conflict. Some people choose to deal with their shit, some people don't. I told you, people rather deal with a whole other person instead of dealing with their motherfucking self. What do you want? Masculine, you personally, 
in regards to the feminine, you finna have a good W. You're gonna win. Six of Wands. This is winning. Wins. Victory celebrations. You're gonna get a W in regards to the feminine energy. Clarifying that W is the Two of Cups. I mean, excuse me, Five of Cups. That's that um, emotional isolation feeling. I told you, when you in the world, you need to learn how to deal with yourself. This is where you should have went coming into the situation. But I said, God smacked your ass back into position. See, you went from a fucking Four of Cups to a Three of Cups. Then God smacked your ass. Now your ass at the Five of Cups. That's a W. Doing what the fuck you supposed to be doing right now. <laughs> Five of Cups. I told you. You in the world. Four of Cups. You up here dealing with yourself. Taking care of yourself. Not, not taking care of the world. Not dealing with somebody else because you can't deal with yourself. You up here dealing with yourself. You up here by yourself though. That's the hardest part about this shit. Dealing with yourself. You by yourself doing it. But you only gonna grow and help from this experience here. That's where the W at. That's where the win come in. This is shit your feminine goes through all the time. Masculine, you learning exactly what it feels like to be emotionally isolated and forced to deal with yourself. So every time you kind of kick your twin to the curb or put your twin or your divine feminine through like a separation period or some shit like that, now you're starting to understand the aha moment of how they feel. Like you feeling the same way. But it's all good because you, you keep progressing, you get into the sauce. Six of Cups, that's the sauce. That's what the fuck you love about your feminine. That's what the fuck you are addicted to about your divine feminine is the sauce. Look how you get into the sauce. You know how you got saucy or found out about the sauce? Didn't I say in the beginning of the motherfucking reading it was going to be a secret to the sauce? What was that last reading? That was last reading. Vine, uh, uh, Twin Flames and Separation. It was uh, the Seven of Cups. Uh, the Six of Cups was clarifying the um, Seven of Cups. It was the secret to the sauce. You was going to learn the secret of the sauce. You was learning that last message. Here it is. Here's the secret of why I'm asking. This is how you learn about the sauce. I'm telling you, you're going to have to leave the world. Four of Cups. Get off the world. Get the Zion, okay, four wands, union. Really be high and up above the world. Really get a bird's eye view of what the world really is. Once you do that, you're going to see even more reasoning why you're up here doing what you're doing anyway. It was meant for you to be up here, not here. You're going to realize your twin been up here the whole time. That's why she clingy. That's why she fuck with you tough, tough. Cause it ain't like she fuck with the world the way you fuck with the world. It ain't like she own the shit you own. It ain't like she's dealing with things in the manner you're dealing with them. You're really starting to get an aha moment with this whole emotional isolation is. You have to be emotionally isolated so you can deal with yourself. Overall energy, seven of wands, boom, you do that. Okay, upon dealing with yourself, you start to understand how cold you really is, how strong you really are. How wise you really are. How powerful you really are. How all that shit your feminist said is true. How you are a super nigga. And not a regular nigga out here. You know what I'm saying? And all that shit gonna do is make you saucy. But it ain't like you taking sauce from your twin. Taking what you love about your feminine. The shit that she says. Thing that she does. The way that she styles you. The way that she helps you. The way that she loves you. It's not like taking any of that. It's like you created some of that. That's what sauce is. It's some shit you create and put on other people or put on things. You was a taker of the sauce. Masculine. That's why you took from your feminine. That's why many of these things happened. It was the way you took sauce from your feminine. It was how much sauce you took from the feminine. Now you're producing sauce. So now you're seeing exactly what goes into sauce making reason why your fucking divine feminine makes so much good sauce is because her ass been up here going through this pain that you're feeling right now all the time. What don't kill you make you stronger. Okay? You see why your divine feminine is, is feminine and saucy as fuck. It comes from pain. It comes from being wounded. 
It comes from all the shit that you thought she wasn't going through. Or he could be a she, she could be a he, you know how he rock. For some reason, masculines, y'all be thinking y'all feminists had it made. Like they don't go through real shit. Like they ain't never been through nothing. Like they ain't never went through nothing real. All they go through is real. They're the realest person you know. That's because they live in reality. But a lot of that realism, you kind of downplay with them. Why? Because you didn't know how real it was. Now you see how real it is out here to be a sauce maker by creating sauce for the first time. And it's like, you gain it in the respect. It's like, you want to be a comedian. You got a comedian friend. And you go to your comedian friend's show, and you see how they do, and you like, man, I think I can do a better job than you. I think I'm a comedian. Fuck it. You go out, have your homie hook up a show for you, boom, you get on stage and bomb. Bomb. Boo! Like, you suck. Like, get the fuck out of here. And it's like, you look at your, your, your comedian friend like, damn, yo, this shit way harder than I thought. It is. Personally, I write for comedians all the time. Me personally getting up there and trying to do that shit, I, I still ain't figured out how to... I can do it from this level. Like, being in your face like this, I can capture audiences. But on a, a wider level, like me being on a whole big-ass stage, rapping is different. Because I'm commanding crowds. I'm doing my thing, my, my, my MC shit. As far as comedy, it's a different level. It's, 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 it's different. It's only for the real. It's like you being a comedian, think you can be a comedian, you try to be a comedian, you bomb, because you ain't got what it takes to be the great. The feminine is a great comedian. You're not a comedian at all. You're just funny. Thought you could be one, but now you're starting to see what it takes to be one. Now you can be one bombing for the first time. That type of energy. Masculine. Mystery Madness role regards to yourself. You got the Seven of Pentacles, the Riri card. You're going to have to reanalyze some shit. Move around. Remove yourself from some shit. Relocate. Readjust some things. You know? Rehash on some shit. Reverse on something. Riri card. Whatever it is, it's going to put you in motion and moving the fuck around. You need to move around. You know what I'm saying? So you can tool one. This is basically your role. So you can support whoever you got to support here. So you, like I say, finally getting the gist of what you got to do as a man, as a masculine, as a divine reflection, and getting to it. You're not going to have this awakening and get all ghosted and get all this insight from four fifth dimensions and they, like your, feet, your feminine voice ringing in your head and you're getting like signs of synchronies of a lot of shit. Like you're not going to go through this whole experience, okay, just to go backwards. And what's going backwards? That's acting like this shit ain't what it is. Like you just had three visions for three days straight in your twin. What you think that shit a coincidence? What you think God ain't trying to tell you something? It's a fluke. This shit just happens. Nah. You're gonna really bow down to a motherfucker that's greater than you. That's your feminine. It's like your husband trying to play mom for a day. You tell this nigga, nigga, it's hard doing this shit. Waking these kids up, getting their ass ready and all this shit. You think it's sweet. You don't do it. That's why. He like, eh, watch this shit. I'm be, I'm do what you do for a week. And I bet you this shit will be way better than how you do it. Boom. The first day, he... It's too much. Damn, babe, I don't see how you do that. Well, nigga, at least you try. At least by you trying, you know exactly what go into this shit. Now you can watch your motherfucking mouth. What you be saying about what the fuck I do and don't do around this bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't know until you do it. It's like the prime ass is gonna finally start doing shit. And by them doing shit, they're finally gonna start learning the shit that they need to learn now. And the shit like this is the gears that need to click and the, and the keys that need to open and the, 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 the awareness that your master needs to have to kind of finally get in line with where he needs to get with you. Because your master, personally, he's got the Eight of Cups, 
which is the Divine card. It's probably a Bell card, which is enterprising. But this is more so a Divine card as far as, like, keeping your nose clean. You know what I mean? This is being divine at all times. Something, too, that you're going to figure out that you're, just like your feminine does all the time, that you're going to learn. Once again, it's like, Since you're the breadwinner, you spend a lot of time, I don't know, when you come home from work, probably smoking, drinking, watching games and shit like that. You're not really upstairs, like you're in a den. Upstairs, it's like your wife, she's got the kids, her parents is over, she's entertaining folk. You kind of stand out the way, but it's like she in the trenches. So it's like your wife coming to you like, look, I'm trying to smoke real quick. I'm going to need you to entertain them, watch the kids, do all that shit while I turn up down here for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. I just need 20 of them. Go on, get. She kick you upstairs, boom. You, It's all bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck. How the hell you watch the kids and entertain them at the same time? It's like, nigga, I do this. Okay? I'm just showing you how to do this shit. He's learning how to do it. Now he gets a newfound respect. So anytime you ask him from upstairs, hey, I need you to come grab something for me or can you talk to so-and-so for me or can you come get the baby or some shit like that, you a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? You a little bit more on your job with that because you know I really need you. You know, I, I mean, you see how hard this shit is, so hopefully you got an understanding as to why I bitch the way I bitch with you or why I say this shit is imperative when you think it ain't. Or why this shit is a big issue, but you think it's small. Real shit. Come into this week with these energies, man. It's like a lot of awareness that the masculines are finna get shit that they need. Fuck the time about. It's awareness that they need. Really start to understand the shit that goes into this emotionally, financially, shit that you're bringing. Shit that you're offering, shit that is, shit that ain't, and shit that ain't finna be at all. So, going to the future, masculine. You got two swords here, pussy footing around. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Clarifying as the Queen of Pentacles, this is a boss. Police car, bossy car. So, going to the future, this is the old mystery madness role. This ain't you consciously, but this is you subconsciously. Masculine. Masculine. Going to the future, you need to realize something. The energy you're displaying right now is like a fucking boss that do too much. It's like... You the boss. You come in just to watch your people work. Which they don't mind. They don't mind you coming. I mean, you the boss. Like, when you come in, everybody's sitting up straight. Everybody, all the YouTube things is clicked off the internet. Everybody looking like they doing work, right? That's what happens when the boss comes. Motherfuckers be alert, right? It's like you come in, people get all alert. You take that as a sign that people working when they not. You stand behind a few people. Kind of making them uncomfortable because they're like, damn, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, it's like you're trying to run an office that you ain't there for. You know how it'd be. It'd be like the boss ain't there, supervisor ain't there. Y'all do most of the work. It's almost like y'all handling this shit y'all damn self. Then it's like the boss come back and trying to run y'all. It's like, nigga, you wasn't even here. We run this motherfucking building. You don't be here. It's like, if you a cool boss, even if they letting that shit slide, that's the reason why the boss be dipping out a lot, is because this job can get worked by itself. But if you ain't there in the trenches with these workers, then if some shit happen, don't expect these workers to fuck with you like that. It's the equivalent of like, like some kids get to a basketball court but there's no rims so they all put in their head hey we're gonna create our basketball courts we're gonna find two crates we're gonna cut the bottoms off them bitches you know what i'm saying and we're gonna get a ladder and we're gonna 
basically nail these crates to the rims. But we all got to work together. As soon as we get this shit done, as soon as we can play ball later. So it's like, it's this one kid who said he was going to help do shit, but ain't doing shit. His dad has a ladder. That's the only main reason why, like, I don't know, y'all let him chill in a minute that he's chilling. So it's like, y'all do all the work. He watching y'all work. He's bragging about how he don't have to work because he's the one with the ladder. Then it's like he goes home to try to get his dad's ladder or whatever the fuck. And it's like, there's no ladder. So then they get back to the park. They hopping on each other's shoulders and shit on some like little rascal shit. <laughs> some spanky shit to nail the motherfucking rim. Cock on the motherfucking rim. Boom, they get both rims up. Now, let's just say it was four of them, right? Now it's time to play. The dude who ain't did shit the whole time thinking he finna play two on two on his new court that was built. He ain't put no hand to it. He ain't help shit. And it's like them niggas say, nah, we ain't playing two on two. We playing varsity. It's a V. Every man for himself. But you don't like, you like playing the teams, you a team player, but obviously you, you wasn't a team player. Because if you really was a team player, then you would have been building with the team instead of, I don't know, demanding team play during a varsity scrimmage. Like, nah, people ain't going to take you serious. If you ain't help a person get it out the mud, don't expect them to, to help you or don't expect them to understand your hand. If you don't understand the struggle, then you, you'll you never understand me. Like, if you don't understand my struggle, you'll never understand me. If you went around doing my struggle, don't think you're going to be around doing my pros prospering times and shit. That go for anybody. It's one included. And that's another smack your masculine is starting to get right now. Pussyfooting around is not the boss move. Like I say, the best thing a boss can do is help the workers. Be on our level working with us. You know what I'm saying? The best thing a boss can do is go to the trenches where his workers at and work with them. You're going to build a rapport doing that. You're going you're gonna to build a bond with them doing that. You're going to be the best boss that way. You're going to be more respected that way. You go with the whole eight of cups. Asking I had uh, you regards to yourself, maintaining your divinity, maintaining your integrity. As a boss, you want to be known as a person who's understandable, a person who can relate. That's how presidents get elected in, in office and shit, being the most relatable to the public. You got to be a man of the people. At least put on a guise that you're the man of the people to get people to fuck with you. As you personally go into the future, you got bridges to build, three of pentacles. This is you and somebody else doing some shit or you need to get to the other side and another person helping you get to the other side what's the other side that's the fourth and fifth dimension that's the four of wands that's junior that's home that's a whole another echelon of living it's a whole higher way of being you need to get there who can get you there your feminine to get you there clarifying that is the eight of swords the only way you're gonna get to this stage of building with your feminine you're gonna have to basically break out of the self-imposed prison that you're in it's popped up in the last message, too. You're in a self-imposed prison. It's a fucked up ideology you got in your twin, and you need to fix that shit. Like, you really got shit twisted. It's like, you really... This is my main problem with my mask and hands up with me. It's like, you really got what I do misconstrued. It's a mental thing. He literally sees what I do. Cups, emotions. He literally feels the energy I'm giving out. Plus, the people that I affect, that touches him too. He's getting touched on every level. The only level he's not switching off on is the mental level that he has with me. That's why he's stuck at an eight of swords. It's a high energy for a sword, but it's still a trap, still a prison. You got to get past that self-imposed prison. I told you, self-imposed prison is like gates in a zombie apocalypse. It's a zombie apocalypse. Of course, Gates gonna make you least sleep a little better at night. 
But at the end of the day, shit, these gates are going to break. They're gates. It's more zombies out in the world, karmics, than there is divines inside. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, we can't hide behind gates. We're going to have to eventually utilize these gates and take advantage of the gates while we got them up. But we really have to take advantage of the literal gates. Nine of Swords. That's a step after the... Damn, I didn't know how to book... That's a step after the Eight of Swords. You gotta take this gate, this wall, basically this blanket that you got up to keep you from the boogeyman, when the boogeyman can just rip through the fucking blanket and eat you alive. But it ain't like that blanket is magical or some shit like that. But you show putting that blanket over your head like it's magical, but it ain't. That's the reality. Okay? Reality is, you're gonna have to, um... You're gonna have to you gonna have to break this prison down. Eight of Swords. That's taking the gates, creating guns, and being in a nine of Swords situation, which is stress. Of course, you stress. You ain't got no more gates to protect you from the zombies. However, you got guns now, but the guns ain't there to waste bullets on. Zombies, you don't really need to kill. Anything, you kill zombies with your hands. You don't use bullets for zombies. You need bullets for human beings out here. Because like I say, it ain't the zombies you got to worry about in the motherfucking world. It's the human beings you got to worry about in the zombie apocalypse. They'll steal from you. They'll kill you for your food. They'll kill you for your shoes. They'll kill you for a bar of soap. Zombies is predictable. They, they got to they gotta live. Out here, so they just do what they do to spot like birds, bees, roaches, and shit like that. It's a le it's a min it's a limited menial existence. Now, to the motherfuckers who survive, you know what I'm saying, the zombie apocalypse, who are unified out here setting traps for other people. Like I say, it's like a, a city filled with people who set other people up to so they can survive as a city. It's like you pull into a new city, they got a, a welcome sign up, like it's all sweet. But then they got a random person in front of the street who just blow your brains out. They take your car, take your shoes, take your food, dump your body in the side of the road, open up their gates to their wonderful city, pull their shit in, pull your shit in, and now you're a casualty of war because they had to survive. That's a different level of savagery. It's just survival. It ain't like you, the person who did a lot to get that car, to get that truck, to melt these gates down, to get these guns, to move to another place. Because you got to be moving. That's how three of wands work. You, you, you move. You take these three lamps and you put them in a spaced out place so you can move in the darkness. You don't stay in one space. Two of wands is staying in one space. Sorry, I shouldn't say this. Masculine. You got to break any type of mental prison you have that's keeping you from um, evolving with your toy. Divine Masculine, what does your fourth, fifth dimensional self want to tell you right now? King of Cups, tough love or the spirit of discernment? Who do you need to have that with? Queen of Swords. Yeah, shit. You need to be ten toes the fuck down on having tough love or mental discernment for something. What is that? Five of Cups. That's the dark night of the soul. So. Give it your energies. Give it what you just experienced, the right masculine. Only thing, King of Cups is tough love. Only thing you need to be tough on right now is yourself. Reason why you need to be tough on yourself because you need you need to be ten toes the fuck down on a mental decision right now. When it comes to yourself, what is that? Five of Pentacles. That's to go without something. Four of Pentacles. That's holding on too tight to something or feel you can't let go of some shit. Five of Pentacles. That's going whatever. That's going without whatever that shit was. You gotta let go. You gotta go without shit. I told you, you just had a security blanket. You was just in some post prison because you put yourself in there to keep yourself safe. It's like locking yourself up in a jail at a zombie apocalypse. Eventually, it's going to be more zombies than you. And when you kind of 
ate all your food and there's no substance no more. What's the point of you leaving out that jail cell and walking outside that jail to a whole city full of fucking zombies? When there were no zombies in that city and you was in a position to, to, to outrun the wave of zombies. It ain't the prison that's keeping you safe. It's it's you moving in your mind and the direction that you're going that's keeping you safe out here. Nothing can keep you safe. You have to learn to go without some shit. It's a pinnacle. It's a person, place, or a thing. It's something you felt you couldn't go without. Now you're going without it. And you going without it is only going to help you. Now I hurt you. What does your divine feminine want to tell you in the fourth or fifth dimension? Three of Wands. Use the path that I've tilled for you. Like, this is the road. This is the route. This is the way. Ace of Swords, you're going in the right direction, right? I bet. Here's a map or instructions on how to get exactly where I'm at. What's the step after Three of Wands? Four of Wands. That's Union. My feminine part of fifth dimension is like you giving the divine masculine what he needs to make this trek happen. You're giving him the insight he needs. You're giving him a map. You're giving him directions. You're giving him coordinates. You're giving him something. So he knows where to go. Put more smoke on that. Four swords. This is being two in your head. And what I mean by that is this. It's like directions. You can tell somebody how to get somewhere that you go to all the time. But it's how they follow your directions. And then it ain't just the following directions part. You got emotions that play with that shit. It's like me when I go to a job interview or someplace for the first time. Like when I came here. They told me to come my first day here at like 6 in the morning. Which was weird because I went for a job interview that day. And then here it is. They said I, I'm starting 6 a.m. the next morning. Fresh off for interview. Me? I'm just trying to maintain the suppression. Fuck it. I'm, I'll work. You know what I'm saying? Boom. This is where I'm supposed to be in this little shack right here, this little guard shack and shit. So it's like, first place I came to from the GPS coordinates was this place. I pulled up all the way back there. I pulled right here. And I'm like, yo, uh, it's my first day. I don't really know who the fuck I'm supposed to meet. I think I'm supposed to be here. Guard dude was like, nah, you're supposed to be inside. Go to the other side. So... He showed me where it was at. He told me where it was at. Then I leave here to go where it was at and got lost. So then I had to come back here to react for the same directions. He told me the same shit. Then I finally get to where I was going, only to get to where I was going for them to tell me I was supposed to have been here. So I had to wait for this building to open at... Uh, Two hours. I waited two hours out in the lot up here waiting for people to get in here for people to tell me that I was supposed to be here the whole time. Look at all the miscommunication that happened even though it wasn't a miscommunication. What it was was me being nervous to find the right place because I was pushing being late. You know what I mean? I'm past the point of late. Like here it is. Shifts that they say start at 6. Here it is 7.30. I'm still trying to find where the fuck I'm working at. But in reality, I ain't thinking. You know what I mean? Now, once I calmed the fuck down, found where I had to go to, it brought me back to where I came to in the beginning. So, in reality, I came to the right place. It's just I didn't trust in my own intuition that this was the right place to be. I listened to another person, and it got, in fact, got led to three different places instead of the place I was supposed to have been at the, at the, at the, end, of, at the end of the day. So I was two on my head at the time, even with instructions. Two ahead, two on my head at the time, even with instructions. I'm telling you, like, just because you've been there a million places, a million times, don't mean a person is going to find that place as quick as you found it or get it. Like I say, it's like you tell your kids to go get something. All right, go in my, my room. I got. 
my bag sitting by the door. I want you to grab my green bag and I want you to grab my jacket. And it's like, yo, shit is literally by your door. But they walk past it and they look in your room and they don't see nothing. And you're just like, what the fuck? I told you where the fuck it's at. Like, can you listen? Boy, is it dumb? Like, nah, it's just they want to find it. It's a mental thing when you go and looking for shit. You know what I'm saying? You can literally find what you're looking for, but kind of, you know, it's like, hey, go to the store and give me this item. And it's like, you go to get them, but it's like, damn, do they want this flavor or this flavor? And it's like, you, they're happy with any kind of the brand, but you, in your head, tweaking that they need a specific flavor. Then you call them like, hey, do you want the red or the blue? And it's like, just get anyone. You're not going to be like, damn, I was just calling to see if you wanted something specific. Fuck, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Nah, it's all mental. It's all mental. My feminist is letting you know, I gave you the instructions on how to get home. Don't overthink it. Okay, Trust in your own intuition, if anything. If you get lost, just trust in your own intuition. What you think I mean. <laughs> Shit like that. Final message, you got the Nine of Pentacles. This is being right where you need to be to bless somebody, right where you need to be to get blessed, or right where you need to be to learn a lesson. What is that? Five of Wands. This is life after union. Once again, that's the final word. Mind Maximus. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, you are right where you need to be to learn a really good lesson. Most of these lessons you're learning is basically what your feminine has to go through on a daily basis. You're only handling these shits on brief bursts, short moments and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot. So just imagine what your feminine has to do since she does this shit 24 seconds. Respect your twin and um, respect the path. All right? That's the message that I got. Hope I can be in good use. It's your boy D-Boom. Please stay tuned. Deuce.